Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chrissy, and today I'm working on a 11 by 8 size canvas. As you can see here, I'm just blocking it in with some nice purple, nice purpley tone. Adding a bit of grey in there just to give it some mystical, atmospherical perspective. So I'm just using a nice olive, light olive green, this is called, with a tiny bit of white, just to put some distant trees in. I'm using my fan brush today. I'm just blocking in these trees here in the mid-ground, just with a nice dark value of green. I hope you enjoy this, guys. It's a nice little scene that uh, I put together myself, so I hope you enjoy watching this. If you do, give us a thumbs up. I appreciate that, as always. And you can share and save these videos and uh, watch them whenever you like. I've just put a bit of... Well, it's like a yellowy off white colour in the sky, just to give it that bit of mood scene going on. Now I'm adding some different purple and blue tones here just to get the different values in the snow. Any blues you have or any purple. I've let that dry and I'm just skimming over a bit of tinted white. It's got a slightly bit of bluey purple in it as well. I'm using the same mixture just to put some snow on the tree here on the left and the trees in the background and the same on the one on the right hand side which I'll get to in a minute. So now I'm blocking in my red barn so I've just used some nice cad red deep with a tiny bit of black just to give some nice shadowing. I'm using a, an angle brush today, an angle shader. I like these little brushes. But any brush you're comfortable with. Then I dry that off. And I come back again with some a darker value, like I'm doing here, just to get under the eaves of the barn and to block the little windows in. Now I've washed my brush, I've come back with a brighter red, just to put on the barn doors there. So I think that's just a cadmium red. And add a tiny little black to that also just add some shadows some off white again just to get the actual frames and the actual markings around the windows and the doors so I'll let that dry I'll come back to my snow I'm still using that angle brush I'm just giving it another layer just to brighten it up in places but I want it nice and and that nice blue tone on the right hand side and a lighter blue there on the left because the light's coming in over the back of the barn if you will down to the centre of the painting. I'm just brightening some spots up here as you can see with my detail brush just adding a little bit of snow that's landed on the windowsills there and on top of the roof just with titanium white. So there goes my other tree with that off bluey purple colour. Then I swapped the fill but just add some brighter highlights with the titanium white. And I'm just doing a glaze on that barn. I just wanted some darker shadows in so I'll do a nice dark glaze of the blacky reddy colour that we used before. And then I come back in with a bit more red just to get it a nice streaky look like I've got there. So over to my snowman, which I've named Buddy. <laughs> and I've named the little girl Hope, because they're best friends. And she was so glad to see him, they just had to hug each other. I've just used the same colours I put in the snow on the floor, these nice bluey purple colours. I've just darkened the values slightly, just to get a richer, deeper colour. And the same reds as I used on the barn, same principle. Just tinting it slightly with a bit of black to get them shadows. So I'll let each layer dry, then I come back in and just change my colour slightly. As you'll see in, the, in a little while, I'm just getting his hat on. I'm just using a Mars black there and a tiny bit of ultramarine blue for his hat. And the same colour for his little stick arms. He's dead cute, isn't he? They just want to play look. It's like, hey, yay, you're back. 
Let's be friends. So now putting some little highlights on there, on the on his actual body. Give him a darker value around the back because the actual light source is will be hitting him on his right hand side there of the actual snowman. I'm using the same colours I used in the sky, that tinted yellow, just tinted it with some white. And I'm scrumbling, as you can see, because I don't want him smooth. I want him to look like he's been patted together, you know, like when you build a snowman, you pat it all down, all the snow into little, neat little packs. I want him, like he's got some visual texture going on there. Another layer on his scarf there, just to tidy it up a little bit. That little round detail brush. And his little coals for his eyes and his mouth, bless him. I'm just adding some snow there onto his little stick arms. And I'm lightening up some of his features now, so in front of his belly there, on his face. There's some tinted titanium white, it's got blues, it's got purples in. Now, same principle for the little girl, the same colours for a little Christmas hat. You don't see much of a face there, so I'm just doing it in like this off grey-brown colour to start with. I'm just adding more white to get it more greyed out for a little jacket there. And she's got little mittens on, so I'll do them red as well. And she's got little... She, well, she's dressed up for Christmas, so she's got a lovely little skirt. And I put some little black boots on. I think it's a cute picture. She must have been playing in the barn. Then she must have heard him outside and she's come running out to give him a big old hug. It's a friend's. And she missed a snowman. <laughs> They love it, don't they, kids? So that dark value again, I use the same colours I did on his hat, using that nice black with a bit of ultramarine blue. Now we did a leg, and I'll show you them. Well, it's not a mistake, but it was like she's running and got her leg up, but I didn't think it looked right, that leg on the right hand side. So you'll see in a sec, I do alter that. Which is quite easy enough to do, you know, you know, you don't need to stress over it, just let it dry and paint it out, just like I'm doing now. Then I move the actual Tova boot round to the front. Lifting them little ruffles on her little skirt there, and some lighter spots on her Christmas hat. Just make sure you've got all the nice little dark shadows in. And same texture as I did on the snowman to make her like little furry jacket that she's got on. Little folk fur, furry coat. A winter jacket. I think it's just a lovely little scene and make a nice postcard or obviously a nice painting. Get it nice, you know, a nice frame to put on it or, or whatever. You also do stuff like this in your journals. I quite find them interesting to do as well. Anything you like. I just thought it was a nice little scene. Next day, if you enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up. You can leave me a comment. Some more highlights there. Just on this side, on the right hand side there, as you can see. A bit of snow on his hat. See if them finish them little touches. Little carrot nose. <laughs> I really enjoyed doing the Christmas paintings this year. I hope you've enjoyed them. And if you want to check my playlist out, you can do. The will be in there. Feel free to uh, have a browse through there as well. Like I say, you can add them to your playlist and save them. Play them at your leisure and create some. If you want to create some of my artwork and you want to show me what you've done, you can join the Facebook group or you can tag me on Instagram or Twitter. 
All the links for them are in the description box below. Just misted it out a little bit there on the back, just to knock them trees back a little bit with that blue misty colour. Which is a dry brush, I'll just use that nice stiff fan brush to give that nice dry brush look. I'm just building a bit of snow at the side of that barn and in front here at the bottom right hand corner. And I like that pink in it, I think it just adds something nice with the pinks and blues. They look nice together, don't they? I think it makes a right nice pretty painting. But you can do these any colours, you know what I mean? I just thought it was really nice to do it this way and to show you guys. I've even put a bit on that tree, look. Especially on this one on the right hand side. That nice pinky purple, I think it looks really nice. Bit of shadowing. Now just build this up here. Oops, I've got a bit of yellow there, but never mind. Rub it all in, mix it all in together. I'm just building a bit of snow bank up here where she's obviously gathered all the snow to build the snowman with. Little snow pile. And plus I've shoveled it off to get to the barn, obviously, to make a little pathway. Just creates that little bit more interest into the painting. Tells more of a story. A few highlights now. I'm just using that soft filbert brush again just to get some highlights on them trees. I'm darkening them barn doors because they were just a bit bright. I wanted them slightly different colour than the actual frame of the barn, but they were just a bit bright. So I've just dulled them down slightly and I go back in and do my lines again. I'm just adding a little bit of snow in my stiff fan brush. Just give it that essence that it's just snowed and everything's so lovely and Christmassy and hope so happy to see buddy and uh, I wish everybody a happy Christmas and a prosperous new year and I'll see you soon. On screen now are two videos you may like to watch and if you're not already subscribed click on my face and be sure to click the icon bell to get a notification. As always, thanks for watching and create something wonderful. See you all soon on my next video.